Hi and welcome back to the channel. So today I am having a, another look at Zero G's Kepler. Hopefully you watched the uh, the intro and installation video and this one I am actually going to be playing some sounds you'll be glad to hear. There was a bit of a glitch in the uh, the first version of Core Designer and uh, Texture Designer so the XY tab uh, wasn't working so there was a glitch with the uh, uh, Logic Pro 11 and Contact. Uh, you know not like there's Ever a problem with contact. So if you didn't get that, uh, give Zero G uh, an email or email me and I can send you this. There's about four files that you have to replace. Uh, it is now working. As you can see, I can uh, move this around. There doesn't seem to be any uh, automation for it, but if you are in your DAW, you could obviously automate that uh, from there, but th there's no automation. Unfortunately, they don't have uh, Ergo Cux automation from uh, Aleatoric, which is the dog's bollocks. So maybe they could speak to him, uh, get that incorporated because that is just fantastic. Um, so watch that video as well if you if you haven't, because uh, it is brilliant. We have three layers. They are all off because uh, when you open it up, there's no snapshot loaded. So you're thinking, oh my God, it's not working. There's no sound. Yeah, it's because there's not a snapshot loaded yet. So here we go. So these are all the snapshots that you installed. There are freaking hundreds and hundreds of them. So today I am just going to go through the instant cues section. So in the instant cues, you've got five menus with around about 20 to 28 in each. And then rhythmic cues, you've got four sections. So, uh, and they're round about 30 as well. You've got hybrid percussion. So there's 30 of those. You've got booms and strings. You've got brams and alarms. The risers and signals. You've got clocks, which is quite an unusual thing to have. You've got textures. Uh, so you've got 21 textures. You've got vocal uh, pedals. So you've got 29 of those. You've got, you've got electric guitars and there's normal. So you get 26 of those. You get 13 processed and you get 10 bass and uh, guitar. Experimental synths, you get sequences, hybrid distortion, metal and objects, keys and synth, short bass stabs, uh, hybrid leads and arpeggiators. And this is just the core designer, remember. Turn on uh, quick load. So if you watch the uh, the video, you'll know all about quick load. Um, so that is all, of, so we're in core designer. You've got texture designer, uh, trailer hits, uh, hybrid, low perk, high perk, and folk perk. You've got uh, bass, stomps, boom, metal, whoosh, uh, whoosh and hit, whoosh processed, whoosh short. You've got two voice uh, true legatos. You've got throat singing, a breath man, breath woman. You've got six voice screams <laughs> and a core designer reverse. So there's 27 NKI files. So you go on instrument. So you've got multi uh, bank and instrument so you just go in and drag them in here uh, and then you can lock it off again uh, and that's it they will always be there that is the kind of the snapshots and NKIs we'll just start off with the first preset and just give you an idea of what it's like well my complete control defaults to 120 so we need to bang this down because it's far too fast for these sort of presets so they kind of recommend around about 85 to maybe 80 so I'll, I'll put it on 88 but yeah around about 85 to to kind of 90 would be kind of what you'd be usually using for cinematic style music so if i want to adjust the volume it's there so that's layer one uh, and this is the pitch so minus 12, plus 12. So if we play two, so if we want to mute one, we just, that's layer two. So layer two is a bit loud, isn't it? We take layer two down. do a few from each of these yeah i'll do optimus because it's got a better kind of i think this is a better one maybe too the first patch isn't the best one i don't think so this is uh, a guitar processed 
and I will warn you that no, these don't always go one, two, three. So, for instance, uh, orange is one, but uh, yellow is two. So sometimes they switch. Normally, normally this one is always the first one, but not. But sometimes they switch them around so that um, the actual third color, if well, the, the yellow color is not always the third layer. So <laughs> it's a wee bit confusing, but so. The blue is uh, layer three, and the mod wheel is basically just uh, volume. And so is the touch strip on the uh, S49. So I'm using my S49. And these, the red uh, keys are the key switches, and the yellow is showing the key switch that is active. So if I toggle down a couple of octaves, I can change the key switches there. So that is that is me changing the key switches. You can see the yellows moving, but I don't tend to use that because I haven't got an 88 key keyboard. So these colours generally are set up for a 49 key. So that is my first key, and that is the last key. And obviously it is a lot easier if you have a complete S49 Mark II, Mark III keyboard with the light guide. Now let's try Deep Cave, I think. And it is uh, adjusting, uh, two, so it's uh, triggering two layers. So we could pitch these both uh, up. one down and like I said you can go in and really change the so this is all the controls for each sample so you've got individual controls uh, you just click on the box and then you've got global controls as well so you've got a, a volume and a pan for each layer ADSR you have an offset and a shape as well so these are kind of global and then you've got modulations ARP and effects rack but I'm not going to have a look at this because it's too it's too much for one video I'm just doing a bit of a preset playing today and then I will do a deep dive next so bass and guitar so you've got uh, two electric guitars and a bass so So uh, I think Mad Max, uh, the first Mad Max film, the guy on the uh, front of the uh, the truck with a uh, flaming guitar. I think this is what he was playing. So yeah, so pretty <laughs> mental. All oh, right, here we go. Right, last but not least, I think is uh, what we're going to do, blast. So we've got uh, three rhythmics uh, here. So let's see what this sounds like. A bit of a blast. So this is uh, uh, layer two. So this this um, kind of green one here in between the yellow and the uh, the orange is uh, uh, switch, uh, 
So sometimes you'll find one of those in amongst the uh, colours there. So some of the first uh, patches from uh, Rhythmic Cues. Next, we'll start off with preset one. And uh, you have to remember, this is just all core designer. We haven't even got to any of the other ones yet. So we've got rhythmic low, a texture, and a rhythmic high. And that is a very quiet rhythmic high. <laughs> Let's just stop this. Uh, right, oh, uh, right, there we go. Uh, right, that's better. So for instance, we could uh, increase the attack and uh, the release and maybe take down the decay a bit and just see what that does. Dark mood, let's try that instead. Right, that's a bit quiet, isn't it? That's LFL2. So that does do something. I haven't really mucked about with that yet. So we could pitch this down, take the release up. The space train. That sounds right up my street. <laughs> right, oh, oh, hang on, what's, oh, we've got only one, we don't have any colours, oh my god, what's happening? Right, we've only got one. Right, so it's just going to play the whole lot. Exactly what I thought a space train would sound like. Right, let's try some dystopian ones. Let's try Disturbed World, which is sounds like one of my presets, doesn't it? Right. Right, that's peaking already a bit. Actually. Take that down a bit. Right, so the the purple, a lilac-y colour, is uh, one and three. So just to confuse matters even more, so yellow is two. And... <laughs> Right, hang on. Right, there we go. Oh, it's been panned as well. Right, hang on, we'll take the panning off. Right. Right, that is Disturbed World. Oh, the hanger. Let's try the hanger. Right, we'll start off with yellow. Right, it's two. It's layer two again. I was thinking it was going to be bloody three. Right, 
Right, so Lilac is uh, one in three. They just, they just doing this to annoy me now, aren't they? Oh, that's what I had quite that. Right, so uh, Orangey Peach is uh, one. Yeah, that's quite cool. Quantum Machine, get in. That's definitely one of mine. So these have all been pitched down by the looks of it. But, well, one and two have been pitched down. We can solo but not mute apparently. Let's try triplet cues. Uh, right, so the uh, triplet combo three. Better. Right, so the peach is doing um, all three. We can bump the volume up on that, so that is. Right, so the volumes are all kind of low. So last but not least is the tensions, and there's 30 of the bloody thing. Right, let's try three. Rhythmic Octaver. Yes, because I, I haven't really mentioned there's an Octaver and the XY tab, but I'm going to look at all that and the macros and everything in other videos. So this has got the Octaver switched on. June Walker, well I had to do that one, didn't I? Right, these are all pitched down. So let's try Rhythmic uh, Comet Tail. The last preset in this uh, section of uh, Rhythmic Cues is Stellar Glow. So 
this is uh, the green is uh, layer uh, two and three, and uh, the beach is three. So we could always uh, just mute that one. Right, so that is it for today. That is more than enough. So that was the instant cues. So that is just one section of Core Designer. So you can see just a ridiculous amount of uh, snapshots to get through. So anyway, so that gives you a, a, some idea as to what Kepler can do. And uh, well, let's say this is just the Core Designer and we've got rhythmic cues. Um, hybrid percussion uh, to go and uh, all these other ones but so you can obviously see these are these are some of the main ones and the uh, guitar one as well has a hell of a lot so that is it for today's first sound demo of uh, kepler and as usual if you are enjoying these videos please like subscribe share and comment and i will see you in the next one